Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a noteworthy turn of events, Kongsberg Defence Australia, a subsidiary of the renowned Norwegian Kongsberg Defence and Aerospace Group, is intensifying its production activities within Australia. This development signals a significant departure from the previous stagnation experienced in the Australian manufacturing sector. Traditionally reliant on technology imports, Australia is now redirecting its efforts towards fortifying its domestic manufacturing capabilities, in line with the government's aspirations for greater self-reliance and resilience, particularly in shipbuilding and the production of guided weapons and explosive ordnance. Aligned with analogous initiatives by the United States and the United Kingdom under the AUKUS framework, the Australian government is prioritizing the development of nuclear submarines, promising a bright future for the country's defense industry. In this context, Kongsberg Defence Australia stands poised to reap the benefits of this initiative, courtesy of its local production capabilities and proximity to industrial partners and key suppliers. John Fry, the general manager of Kongsberg Defence Australia, underscores the company's transition from a mere marketing entity to a robust production presence within Australia. This transformation has led to a surge in staffing levels and the expansion of domestic manufacturing of critical capability solutions alongside the establishment of a national supply chain through its major programs. The company's collaboration with the primary contractor, Raytheon Australia, is aimed at equipping the Australian Army with the NASAMS, Norwegian Advanced Surface-to-Air Missile System, a short-to-medium-range air defense system. A pivotal component of this program is the local production of NASAMS fire distribution centers, responsible for integrating and controlling all system elements. To ensure the success of this endeavor, Kongsberg has forged partnerships with Australian suppliers such as Redark Electronics and Derenmont Technologies. NASAMS utilizes a myriad of radars and sensors to detect and neutralize aerial threats using AIM-120 AMRA missiles. Programs like NASAMS have not only spurred the growth of local businesses but have also seamlessly integrated them into Kongsberg's global supply chain, thereby opening doors to future exports. The NASAMS system, now operational in over 13 nations, has consistently demonstrated its reliability and efficacy in the field, with notable deployments in Ukraine. Moreover, Kongsberg lends its support to Hanwha Defence Australia as part of the Protected Mobile Fires program, facilitating the integration of tactical communication systems and battle management systems into the Kongsberg Cortex-C4 solution. Described by Fry as a Korean gun with a Norwegian brain, this collaboration is tailored to the Australian Defence Force's force structures, boasting new interfaces and capabilities. In a recent development, Australia has opted for Kongsberg's NSM, Naval Strike Missile, Precision Strike Missile to supplant the Harpoon anti-ship missile capability on the Royal Australian Navy's Anzac-class frigates and Hobart-class destroyers. Renowned for its precision and operational flexibility, the NSM, deployable from ships, vehicles, and helicopters, features prominently in this program. Additionally, this program encompasses a substantial local production component, with partnerships established with companies based in Melbourne and Adelaide. Looking ahead, Kongsberg Defence Australia is set to inaugurate a new facility in Adelaide by June 2024. This establishment will amalgamate production capabilities and administrative offices, underscoring the company's unwavering commitment to bolstering local production and maintenance for existing and forthcoming defence programs. In summary, Kongsberg Defence Australia's ramped-up manufacturing endeavours epitomise a paradigm shift in Australia's defence strategy, fostering not only technological advancement but also domestic economic growth and resilience in an increasingly uncertain global landscape. That's all for now, see you later.